Dallas will have to find a new linebacker after all. It's not like Pennsylvania natives who were amazing running backs in high school and only went on to become better linebackers at Penn State University are always available. Actually, Jerry Jones, if you're listening, Andrew Callista might have just the guy for you. He literally drug a kid for, I don't know, 10 yards and another kid. And I mean, they were just bouncing off of him. It was just like watching, you know, Tecmo Bowl. Michael Parsons High School coaches could describe a lot of highlights you may see on draft night. Stiff dorm the guy, ran through another guy. Harrisburg's Calvin Everett and Central Dolphins' Glenn McNamee have some memories that say Micah was special early on. First game of his freshman year, we were at Manheim Township and we were losing by a touchdown with just a few seconds left. The game was all but over. All man I had to do was punt the ball away. He blocked the punt, scooped it up, and scored to send the game to overtime. That was his first game as a freshman. Playing against us in ninth grade, and I, at that moment, you know, I'm looking at his size and being ninth grade and, 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 you know, making the impact that he did make as a ninth grader. You know, I knew he was special. Micah's flow started with a Penn State offer after just four career high school games to two of the men who know him best. Micah has qualities besides his physical abilities that put him on this stage. I just never experienced, you know, him being cocky or arrogant or anything like that. You know, from my time being with Micah, you know, he's, he was always humble. The work that he's put in uh, up until this moment isn't just to get drafted, but to be successful on and off the field once he is at that next level. It's one thing to have those attributes. It's a whole other story to put everything together and execute. He started to see and realize, you know, what he's capable of doing in terms of, you know, how he can affect the game in multiple different ways and not just on defense. I personally think that's probably when he realized, like, you know, I know I'm special. The beat moves along on Thursday when Micah puts on another jersey. And no doubt it's a huge night for him and his family. It's also pretty big for two of his former coaches. It's hard to believe that it's here, that this moment is here. Uh, it's obviously a big night across the country. The, the draft has taken on a life of its own. And, uh, you know, to have him in the position that he's in really adds something to it this year. Just to be able to say that, you know, he, he came through our program. I had some type of impact on him, you know, whether it be big or small. You know, so I'll, I'll definitely be extremely excited. <laughs> no matter where Micah Parsons is drafted and how bright his star eventually shines in the NFL, one thing is for certain, he was made right here on the fields around Harrisburg. Andrew Kalista, Fox 43.